Kathleen's. It's Nico. Uh, this is the weekly update, of course, hopefully. I I feel like I missed a couple weeks, probably because I did, because I've been a little bit sick. Um, two weeks ago, I lost my voice and my throat was really swollen. I had a cold. <coughs> Still have a cough. Um, luckily, it wasn't the flu. And if you hear whining, it's because I'm puppy sitting. My brother's German Shepherds. No, you're fine. Go lay down. Thank you. I just took them O U T S I D E. And now they want to go back and play some more. We'll play we'll play before live chat. Go lay down. No, go lay down. Go on. Go on. Just give me the puppy face. <coughs> Lay down, you're fine. Sorry. Um, so two weeks ago, I got sick. I had a cold. My sinuses were completely infected and swollen. My throat was swollen. It was awful. I have a cough that's lingering, but I'm better. Uh, I haven't done live chat for two weeks. First week because I had a cold, and the second week because I still didn't have a voice. My voice is coming back a little bit. So that's nice. I'll be able to do live chat tonight. And I'm recording this like at five o'clock so a couple hours before live chat starts um so the weekly update i have a in-person real life event uh that's going to happen on the 24th that is the next big event happening it is for the greener side haven it's an animal rescue that takes in senior dogs and they don't adopt them, they keep the dogs and give them a forever home for the rest of their lives, their years. It's really sweet. I got to work with them in December for my Christmas craft fair and they hosted that and had a lot of fun and I wanted to do it for their springtime Easter themed event. So I and, <coughs> sorry, this is <coughs> so annoying to cough. I and Margie of Giddis Haven will be having two tables next to each other. We're going to have fun. It's going to be from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, in Florida at the Withlacoochee, oh, what is it called? I don't remember. It's the trade school in Inverness. I just forgot. Oh, my gosh. It's okay. Um... So yes, it'll be there. If you're in Florida and you know where Inverness is, you probably know where the, the trade school is. Um, with the Coochie Education Complex? I don't I don't remember. It used to be called the with the Coochie Trade School when I was little. It the names changed a little bit throughout the years. I can't remember what it's called. So we're gonna have a table there. It's gonna be fun. Um, hopefully it's not gonna be too hot. <coughs> But, whatever. Another big piece of news for all the fun in general is I got a tent. I got a 10 foot by 10 foot canopy tent for this event. Um, I figured if I was going to be doing some outside events, I don't want to keep asking people to borrow their tents. And I got a tent for all the fun. I'm excited. I really am. I'm just like, ah, oh, it's a, it's a pop-up canopy tent. It's cool. I just got to get weights now for it. So that's that's the big, big piece of news. Um, we just finished our St. Patrick's Day adoption. Thank you so much, you guys. Over half of my creations got adopted. I am very happy and very thankful. I can't wait for them to go to their homes. Um, I'm working on a couple of customs. Here is one. She is done. She's going to get a unicorn horn pendant to match her, even though she's not a unicorn. I just got a glazer. She's done being sculpted. She's very delicate. Look at those little tiny pieces. Okay, I'm gonna put her down. Um, I am working on a whole bunch of fairy doors for the event. I have them right here. I'll give you guys a quick look. I know I shared some pictures of them. I have two different sizes. I'll be doing this the regular size. It's another regular size one. 
with another regular size one. See the gemstones. And this is my favorite regular size one. It's very pretty. It's very happy. It has a little ladybug. That's the first ladybug I made this month. Um, and then it has some smaller sizes. So a little mini fairy doors. Let me, there we go. You can see the flowers. This one's my favorite of the smaller ones so far. I'm not done making these. I'll probably make a couple more. Um, I like the window on this one. And this is the last one for the moment. So yes, these I'm very excited over. I'm happy that I got to make fairy doors. I haven't made them for a while. The last ones I made for for the uh, St. Patrick's Day adoption. And I hadn't, before then I hadn't made fairy doors in like a year. And I really missed making them. <coughs> so there is that. I did get a couple of Easter cutters. Easter egg. I got a tulip, which I used for the fairy door, one of them. This is the tulip cutter, just for the door shape. I'll probably make a couple, or at least one egg-shaped door. And then I have an Easter bunny. I'm not quite sure what to do with this, but I have plans for these two. I just got the bunny, A, because it's purple, and B, because it's for the set. And if I didn't get the set, I'd probably be upset later, because I... I'm a little weird. I like to have the complete set of something. It's, it's a little it's a little OCD, but I really do like to have the entire set of a thing. <laughs> so, got that. Um, I didn't get too many supplies, like like off the wall supplies. I do have some Eastery spring themed pencils. And they have rainbows and polka dots and flowers. These are really cute. I know I give you guys pencil with your adoption, but I really like it. I find having pencils on hand is nice. And as an adult, I don't have a real big reason to buy pencils a lot, except to give to you guys. I got a couple of wooden plaques. These will be bases. I want to say I want to do a dragon eye on one, but we'll see how that goes. We'll see. They might just be bases for scenes. Um... I did get several different of my ribbon necklaces. Most of them are hanging up in their hangy spot. This one got away apparently. That needs to get hung up. And then I got clay. I had to get red clay for ladybugs. I have black clay. Um, I'm nearly out of white clay, so I got white clay. I ran out of my bright green and regular green. So I got those. And then I got a couple of bright pinks. Can't really see. This is a bright pink. And orange. Okay, you can kind of tell it's pink. Because I ran out of those colors. And I need them. So those will go in my clay pile. What is it, puppy? Go lay down, Steve. Where's Sasha? Oh, she's laying in the hallway. She's normally on the couch. The kitties and the puppies get along in case anybody was wondering. That's a good stretch. Go lay down. They're not spoiled. I, I didn't buy them a like five pound bag of treats or anything. No, no. I did. I did. I asked my brother what kind of treats they could have. He sent me a picture and I bought a big old bag of treats for them. I don't they don't get them every single time they go outside, but after they go outside like once or twice a day, I'll give them a treat each. Only one. Because I don't want them to get upset tummies. Anyway, sorry, puppies are distracting, kitties are distracting, animals are distracting, and I love them. Um, let me show you the ladybugs. They should be dry. This is the thank you charm for the month. It's a ladybug. It has four black antique rhinestones on it for its spots. They're pretty cute. I made it about the same size as the Macaron Thank You Charm. A little ladybug. I have about a dozen of those made. I have a couple of things that need to be shipped out tomorrow. I have a couple of adoptions that need to be shipped, um, which is fine. We're going to the doctor tomorrow, so we're just going to stop the post office on the way up and ship stuff. 
just like three or four boxes and I think that's all of the big news I have I haven't gone like crazy supply shop okay no I went crazy supply shopping but not in person I got some miniature glass bottles because of the bag of glass bottles I got are the wrong size they're really small know what I'm gonna do with them though but I needed slightly bigger mini glass bottles for my unicorn horn uh, bottle charms I got some faux sprinkles because next month's theme is going to be sprinkles yes so I got that and I ordered what else oh I ordered some more antique rhinestones glass antique rhinestones um, I actually looked up what day what year decade they were from they're all from the 1950s so there's not a couple of the mixes that I had was from the 40s 50s and 60s and some of the 70s but all the ones I ordered are from the 50s I think that's so cool to reuse things that have not been used okay they've never been used <laughs> they never been put in jewelry but they were made to be used for costumes and stuff in the 50s and they were never used um so I'm reusing brand new old things I really love that I love that so kind of went a little crazy I did go supply shopping for that but I didn't go supply shopping in person there was a giant sale at Joann's with their Sculpey clay being half off and then there's like a 25% off coupon on top of that and I didn't I didn't get out of town to go shopping which kind of makes me sad but it's okay I'll live I'll live so I have a lot of boxes coming in I actually got a peeps delivery box that doesn't really contain peeps candy it's peeps merchandise for my peeps video that I'm going to be doing each year I contacted the peeps company because two of the exclusive flavors are not being sold in Florida because we don't have a Kroger grocery store. The closest one is in Georgia and I have no way to get to Georgia to go to Kroger and I don't they don't ship out of state at least from what I have I've been looking into. I even made a count with Kroger and they don't ship. It's like if I order I can pick it up at the local grocery store in Georgia but I'm in Florida and I'm nowhere close to Georgia so I contacted the Peeps company about two of their flavors that I would really like to get my hands on. Um, other than lists of stoofs to make and updating my calendar thing, yes, my calendar, I don't really have too, too much to do. I have ladybugs. I will be starting making ladybugs today, later today, which will be earlier today when you guys watch this. I have a list of all of the ladybug things I want to make. It's a pretty big list. Um, I know they're not all going to get made, but I like to include chippies with regular sculptures since I've missed like a whole week of work. I missed seven days of work. So I'd like to try to make a uh, extra double adoption for this week. We'll see how much gets done. And in between all the ladybug stuff, I also have to make stuff for the table on the 24th. So that'll be fun. And I'm watching the puppies till tomorrow or Wednesday, whenever they get picked up. It's okay. They can stay forever. I love them. Yes, I love you. Yes. Yeah. All right, Elflings. I will talk to you later. And I'm going to keep trying to upload videos. I realize that I have recorded a lot of unboxings and things and I just hadn't uploaded them. Don't know why. I probably got really busy. Um, so I'll be uploading videos trying to be on a more consistent basis. I have to do another time-lapse sculpture video. I just haven't figured out what I want to make yet. We'll see. I'll talk to you guys later. I love you. Bye. Mwah.